Hey everyone, it's Anaj, and right now it's time for Halo 5 Episode 2 of All You Need to Know. This episode is devoted to the awesome teaser trailer that was announced at the end of Microsoft's conference. If you haven't checked it out yet, I would suggest doing so before continuing to watch this breakdown. So the major thing people are confused about is not where the Chief is, what he's doing, what the giant Skybird is, or anything like that. It's about the missing five next to the Halo logo. At the conclusion of the trailer, there is no mention that this here is Halo 5, only that it is Halo on Xbox One. I thought this could be because they haven't figured out the logo yet, or they just want people to buzz more about the mystery of what Halo it could be. That didn't stop people from calling it Halo 5, however, and this includes the official Xbox Twitter. Going off of this tweet, it would seem as though we'd have confirmation on it being Halo 5, but now that tweet has been deleted, and an article by the official Xbox magazine has cleared everything up. Basically, they haven't named the game. For all we know, it could be Halo 1. However, at the very end of the trailer in the sky, you can clearly see the number 5. This here is no accident or crazy coincidence. Moving on now to the trailer, the first thing we see is the MC shrouded in a cloak. Why would he even need a cloak if he's got such powerful armor? Well, I'm not too sure, but there are theories as to why. First, you can see his helmet is cracked, and this could be an indicator of poor suit integrity. Or he might not even have his full suit. More theories include that he is protecting himself against sand getting in his armor, or so he can conceal his identity, evidence that he has gone rogue. Or maybe it's so he has a pocket for Cortana's AI chip, as we see here. This chip hints that this story will be a continuation of the Halo 4 story arc, and thus make sense to be called Halo 5. Everyone knows after Halo 4's ending that the Chief is just not going to move on from Cortana. He needs her. It's no coincidence either that a gigantic bird machine rises from the sand. Chief's body language tells us that he's not afraid of this thing, and he's not going to run away. Instead, his fist shake of Cortana's chip tells us that he has found what he's looking for to help continue his objective, to get Cortana back. How he will use this thing I don't know, but I hope he gets to drive it. This thing is suspected to be a War Sphinx. A War Sphinx is a Forerunner fighting suit used during the time of the Forerunner Human War. It's a powerful war machine that drops down from high orbit to destroy entire cities and sweep entire continents. We know from the novels that the Die Deck left 12 War Sphinxes to guard his cryptum. A Forerunner cryptum is a vault where Forerunners are interred in a state of never-ending sleep and contemplation. It is also believed to be the forerunner equivalent to the UNSC Cyclops. Doesn't this thing look a little familiar? To me, this looks like a huge mismatch in favor of the forerunners. Perhaps Halo 5 will be filled with huge war machine battles between the two. Unfortunately, teaser trailers always leave us with zero answers and a thousand questions. After the trailer aired, a 343 rep did tell us that Halo on Xbox One will have dedicated servers run at 60 frames per second, and be enhanced by cloud computing. In addition, we know this game will release in 2014, probably late 2014, and be coming back to E3 next year. So I guess all that's left is to play the year-long waiting game. So that's all you need to know for right now. But before you go, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the trailer, and what you hope Halo 5 will include and exclude. That's it, thanks for watching. What's up guys? Don't answer that. Jim with these here. Starting off at 10 is my gamer tag bro. Some more Black Ops 2. This is slow scoping. This is called...